It began with him parked in the middle of the street, yelling at a random lady, leading the two white hillbillies to stand up for the woman. They politely told White to get back in the car, stop blocking traffic, to which White responded by pistol whipping them, throwing a drink on their car, and driving erratically in front of them. <laughs> almost hitting a lady with her infant baby yeah. as he sped away from the scene. What the In heck? a beautiful display of stupidity, Wyatt then called police himself reporting, I just pulled over because somebody just tried to kill me in the car. This truck came up and tried to cut me off. So I pulled over to the next lane and again he's trying to swerve into my lane. And Is that not psychopath activity? What do I be doing sometimes? Like, I really, like, wish I could look at myself from the outside. Like, I could just leave my body and just smack myself as hard as I could. We do not care. Bruh. The satisfying end of TikTok's stupidest criminal. Now, I don't know if that was just a stupid sentence, but stupidest, last time I checked, this is not a word. What? Is stupidest a word for real? Stupidest. He's the stupidest one on the team. That might be a word for real. I deserve this. Oh! Now, if you thought this video was about me being the stupidest TikTok criminal, you didn't lost your mind because I may be on TikTok, but it's one thing I am not. It's stupid. You don't believe me? No. Check it. And it's serious. Bring the beat life like Jordan. Uh, young gang star for the kill switch. Jojo, pose, pose, pose. Jojo, pose, pose. I am a grown man. Bruh. But anyway, back to the topic on hand. I'm assuming, based on my impeccable, tremendous detective skills, that we're talking about Icy Wyatt. Mm. I, I honestly don't know who that is. And his name is on the screen, so I just assumed that we're talking about him. I'm going to feel real dumb if I give this whole spiel about him and the video is not about him. I'm going to be angry. But anyway, I have a little history with Icy Wyatt. I never met him personally, but... Uh, back in the day, I used to react to like cop videos and people getting arrested, and I think I react to him getting arrested. So I might know a little real spiel about this, uh, kind of, sorta. I, I, I honestly don't know. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I know. I, I think I know. Like basically, what I think was happened is that I don't know. Oh, if my memory is correct. He was doing some weird stuff. I think he was drunk, drinking and driving, and then he went on a rampage in his pink car, like hit a lady or something, and somebody, baby and kid, ran into their car, ran. I honestly don't know. So we just gonna hop straight into this video and see the satisfying end of TikTok's stupidest criminal. I think he was talking crazy in that video too, talking about, do you know who I am? I have two million followers. Shut up. Before I smack you. Like, I don't know. I'm not mad already. I don't know. I mean, huh? Wow, it's one of those days, huh? I'm already mad, so we just gonna hop into this video and see the satisfying end of TikTok's stupidest criminal. So let's get into it. Let's go. I see why it thought he was too famous to be arrested. Put both your hands out the window. I don't know who I am. Yet his 1.4 million followers failed to help anything. As you know what's crazy? 1.4 million. I know somebody with more followers than him on TikTok. Like I know personally, and they're not even famous. Come on now. Oh. TikTok's dumbest criminal has been in jail for almost a full year. To introduce the type of guy he is, Icy White was employed before TikTok. Had a job, I worked at McDonald's. Yet a family member exposed him stating, he worked there for a week and showed up one day and they were like, why are you here? He found out the previous day he showed up to work so high on Xanax that he got fired wow. and he didn't remember any of it. Thankfully for White, however, a work ethic wasn't needed 
talented for his genre of TikTok content, simply being a feminine man who was attracted to women. If I had that a girlfriend, hair, nails, new bag, because I want to take care of my girl. I'll be so proud to have a girlfriend and I want to be obsessed with her. That was his very first TikTok and it gained over 8 million views, fueled by people wondering if he was actually telling the truth. I see why it fed into this to achieve a repeat audience with videos as simple as people who don't understand that I can be femme and still like girls, giving him hundreds of thousands of likes. Why it funneled this attention into bingo gambling sponsorships. I am the king of bingo. I am the king of gambling. And then scolded the audience because they weren't as rich as him. I make now, I know you're not supposed to mess with this community, but I don't like his tone. I really don't like how he's talking to me. Flash your long nails in my face one more time. Best believe I'm going to flash my fist to your nose. I, no, bro. He's making me mad. What is he talking about? He's doing all this. Mm, mm, mm. Bro, shut up. Shut up. And TikTok. 8.5 million views. Y'all just be putting anything out. Bro. But as soon as I post something, banned, uh, canceled, uh, exposed. Like, uh, what? What are we even talking about here? Like, I don't even know no more. This dude on my screen is just making me mad. I don't even know him yet, bro. I want the maximum sentence for him, man. Whatever jail time we can get him, I want him to have it. Bruh. Make $800,000 a motherfucking year. You're not even near my tax bracket. Google me, you can see my net worth. Maybe White had an Shut ego up. as he'd previously been in jail. And I've been to jail like multiple times. Which the audience quickly realized he most definitely deserved. Because a user named KD Nail Artistry uploaded a TikTok explaining she was the one who did Wyatt's nails and he agreed to pay me from the start at a price of $200 for three different sessions. Dang. Well, rather than paying, he wrote me a check from a closed bank account. He also knew I was in nail school at the time, so not only was Wyatt a total scumbag, but it also seemed he wasn't as rich as he professed. Right. Despite this, Wyatt only kept on bragging. Gee, I sure do look like the disappointment of the family, but isn't it funny how I make the most money? Sit down. Believing that you'll get much further in life by cutting off all the toxic people and focusing on becoming the main character. Wyatt seemingly went against his own advice and began dating a girl named Moore with whom he started to spend irresponsible amounts of money. Okay, so baby got her Vans. Hey, you know, I had to get me one too. Stop playing with some Vans babies now. Wyatt had his Mercedes wrapped in hot pink while Moore's Mercedes was crashed within a month, introducing everyone to Wyatt's terrible drive history. They he had to drive? move out of California solely because of driving offenses. The reason why I went to Florida was because I couldn't drive here. I had like so many traffic tickets <laughs> and like <laughs> driving on suspended license, oh DUIs, everything. So I went. Yeah, uh, everything. It's all funny till he hit my car. I, I'm gonna keep putting myself in, in, in these situations, you know, let him have a suspended license, be drunk. This nigga is crazy. And run into the back of my car and I survive. Oh, oh, best believe. After I beat you up, I'm getting back in the car. My neck. What? Somebody call 911 now. I can't feel my toes. Oh, it's gonna cost you. You better lawyer up. Mm, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nah, bro, I'm making that bag after I beat him up. I went to Florida and I got my license mm -hmm. and it was perfectly fine. And would upload an old video of his own road rage incident, trying to look tough with the title Don't Play With Me TF. Wyatt was clearly proud of being a terrible human. And normally I'm not that nice. Normally it doesn't matter who you are, I will be like, shut the f up. I don't want to hear about that. Please stop talking about <laughs> That's how that. you get beat up. Next subject. And nothing solidified this more than a video he accidentally posted. He'd already given the audience a tour of his house, but it was specifically on this house's front walkway that he'd kick his girlfriend out by throwing away all of her possessions. Wyatt claimed the video was posted accidentally and the couple quickly reconciled, but the pink Mercedes seen back in the tour was about to be another problem. 25 days after getting the car, he'd post this TikTok looking all bruised and battered, which came with a tweet reading, I'm gonna get some rest and try and recover. My face is in so much pain and the rest of my body. Wyatt then gave some context. He claimed that two Two white hillbillies attacked him unprovoked. I was hate crimed in Florida. I was attacked by two men.
then. My car was stuck between like a Chick-fil-A line. They backed me in so that they could both come out and come on either side of my car and attack me. Describe like what they looked like. like older men, Big, like our age. fat, hillbilly in like a white pickup truck. That's yeah. what they look like. And I and that's exactly what you get. Oh, no, no. You want to talk a little tough? Best believe, you know, if somebody gonna make you back it up one time. Like, I don't know. Don't sit here and talk crazy to me if you don't expect to get beat up. Like, hey, I don't know. Look at him. Especially if you're a little guy. It's different if you 6'8", 200 pounds, talking about, hey, you know, I spit on your mom. Huh? All right. Hey, I gotta let that slide. I can't whoop him. But if, if this dude is 5'4", come on now, uh, uh, 100 pounds soaking wet, I'm gonna drag him across the mud. Like, I, I'm just saying what it is, bro. Like, uh, and me personally, I know I can't win those battles, so I'm not gonna talk tough. This idiot wanna talk tough to everybody and then got a stupid look on his face when he get beat up. Bruh. Like, if somebody challenges it. Come on, bro. Like, I, I, I have no sympathy for him. I'm in a pink Mercedes with this type of nails. Yeah. And when he called to report the hate crime, police beat him further because he didn't take off his seatbelt. Gosh, should I do a story time about how I got ripped out my Mercedes and my ass beat for trying to take my seatbelt off when they tell me to get out the car? White had filmed his own snippet of the incident. I can't take the seatbelt off. You need to show some respect. Posting only what made him look like a victim with the caption, Sunrise County Police in Broward County ambushed me in my neighborhood hours after I had called for help in a road rage incident earlier in the day. They didn't send anyone to help me, but came to my house hours later and held me at gunpoint. That's what she this did. This is not okay. Wyatt was clearly the victim here, right? No. Well, later that day, TMZ posted their own article. TikTok star Icy Wyatt arrested for battery on police officers which clarified he was booked on Monday night for two counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, Dang. one count of aggravated battery with a deadly weapon, one count of battery on an officer, and one count of resisting arrest. Wyatt's innocence was suddenly in question, yet he continued to claim I was the victim. This was in self-defense, also adding I didn't batter the police. What? I was handed my phone, and then another officer ripped it out of my hand, and because I didn't release it right away, he said I assaulted him. On TikTok, Wyatt maintained it was all police's fault. The rumors are not true. There will be several news stories coming out soon about what actually happened. The police were in many wrongs. Until the body cam footage was publicly released. This is what I reacted to. Nobody's to nobody's surprise, Wyatt wasn't actually hate crimed. It began with him parked in the middle of the street, yelling at a random lady, leading the two white hillbillies to stand up for the woman. They politely told Wyatt to get back in the car, stop blocking traffic, to which Wyatt responded by pistol whipping them, throwing a drink on the their car and driving erratically in front of them. Almost hitting a lady with her infant baby yeah. as he sped away from the scene. What the in heck? In a beautiful display of stupidity, Wyatt then called police himself reporting, I just pulled over because somebody just tried to kill me in the car. This truck came up and tried to cut me off. So I pulled over to the next lane and again he's trying to swerve into my lane. Is that not psychopath activity? Whoa! Like. You know you just committed that crime and then called the police to act like somebody else committed the crime that you just committed. Well, that's psychopath activity. He might be crazy. I'm not going to lie. There's something wrong with him, bro. Like, ah, uh, uh, that ain't it. That is not it, bro. Like, what the heck? Uh, 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 why, though? Like, well, this is not Among Us. He tried to get a self-report in thinking that they was going to, you know, get the switcheroo going. Nah, that ain't what happened. You got caught and, you know, you look stupid now. And tried to hit the car, yet this is actually what he'd done to them. Wyatt then continued lying, and then I had four guys jump out of the car and say, we're gonna beat the crap out of you and stuff, failing to include that he'd pistol whip them after. After speaking with these hillbillies, police discovered the truth, showing up at Wyatt's house to arrest him, where he'd speak the infamous line, y'all don't know who I am. Wyatt maintained I didn't hit nobody, claiming his girlfriend was there to confirm his story. She wasn't there. Oh, well. can't be a witness. Uh, was she uh, with you? Yes! Oh, okay. Well, we're, we can talk to her when she gets here. More then showed up to tell her side. Yet it was later shown by this frame that Moore wasn't even there at the time. Wyatt's final defense of having a gun was because he drove a bright pink car who is famous online and gets messed with on the freeways all the time. No. As if it's been a lifelong issue and he didn't just buy the car four weeks before. He added, I have millions of followers. People make this stuff up all the time. To which the cop responded, 
wondered. Not everybody knows who you are. Prompting Wyatt to add, I have 58 million followers. Everybody no, who's been on TikTok or Instagram has seen who I am. Before spending the night in jail, Wyatt bragged about his jewelry. You know this is some 80,000 on my neck you're pressing, right? Being released the following day and posting a celebratory TikTok. You can't get rid of me, bitch. Wyatt then called the paparazzi on himself to claim the don't you know who I am phrase was referring to him being the one who called police. I called the police okay. and told them that this whole altercation happened. So right. when they pulled up, I said, don't you know who I am? Bragging about his followers was due to his head injury. I'm not slurring my words okay. until they slam my head on the ground. Then I'm like, oh, I have 58 million followers. Which was what? covered by a brand that don't even make sense, bro. Like, he wanted the media to just be lying a lie. Like, I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a liar. But I, uh, this type of lie is an idiot lie. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, at least make the lie make sense. Like, the lie don't even sound believable. Like, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you gonna lie, do it right. I would have said something like, oh, snap. Oh, I was dazed. I had a concussion. I don't even remember saying I had 58 million followers. I said that. Dang, I ain't I didn't know I hit my head on the concrete that hard, you know. Would have said something like that. That sounds better than oh, I didn't even realize. So yeah, I said I had 58. No, bro. I feel like I just said the same thing as him, so maybe I'm an idiot too. I am. <laughs> brand new tattoo of his girlfriend's name on his face. Despite treating the arrest like one massive joke, Wyatt was in serious trouble. So yeah, I might be facing 20 years in prison because of this name. Dang. Yet he still posts TikToks such as this one. All right, y'all. Do y'all think I should get this 2021 Range Rover or should I get a G-Wagon? Leading to many comments mocking him. If I were facing up to 20 years, I don't think looking for a new vehicle would be at the top of my list of things to do. Additionally, Especially because yeah. Wyatt was now awaiting trial. If I got pulled over, I could get the maximum sentence, 10 yeah. years. Leading to a TikTok beef with his very own mother. She simply gave Wyatt the most obvious advice ever. She's like, well, you know, you're not supposed to be driving. If you get pulled over, you're going to go to jail for 10 years, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, girl, can we talk about this another time? Like, I'm really not trying to hear about this. She's what? like, okay, well, I'll talk to you about it later. Then I'm like, no, I don't ever want to talk to you about it unless I bring it up because that's something that triggers me. Leading to their relationship completely completely falling apart. They'd publicly argue back and forth about anything and everything. And that's one thing I don't agree with on the mom's side. You are too old for that. I'm not gonna lie. You're pushing 43. Like, why do you even have a TikTok? Bruh. You know, like, I'm, I'm just saying, like, uh, she not too old for this. She kind of, like, it's giving off the vibe that I'm using my son's name to get some clout, like she's a clout demon, you know what I'm saying? Something like that, like, I don't know, I could be wrong though, but like, if, if that was really your son and you cared about him, like, I, you wouldn't be arguing him publicly on TikTok. You are too old for that. Am I tripping? Although Wyatt failed to take any of her advice. Because during this period of waiting for his sentence, Wyatt's stepdad proudly announced he got into an altercation and keyed a car while he was out on bail. As a result, Wyatt was rearrested to be jailed until his trial, predicting just beforehand he wouldn't be in for long. Dang. I'm looking at probably a month's time in $10,000. However, three months passed without a word about his trial, and his plan to work out every day didn't exactly happen. Because I'm gonna just be working out the whole time. As he'd tell his girlfriend via jail phone, he'd gained 40 pounds or 18 kilos. Dang. In the process, Wyatt was facing other issues. Have you gotten in a fight since you've been in there? I was attacked. As more finds out, Wyatt will be serving at least two years. I know I was being Delulu, like thinking that this was gonna be like quick and easy and that you were gonna be home soon. The reality is just like very much like hitting me now. Despite this, Moore had Icy Wyatt tattooed on her neck, live streaming the session during which she'd get a call. Cloud on Demon the was a debt collector asking for payments on a mattress. They've got all this money apparently, but can't buy a mattress outright. Wyatt's mum then revealed they had payments on their cars, making it obvious they'd financed their whole life and Dang. were pretty much broke. Two months ago, Wyatt vocalized being worried about the cost of a phone call while his 40 pound weight gain has turned into 70. I gained 70 pounds since I've been here. 
pounds. As a last ditch effort, Wyatt sent the judge a letter stating, I feel absolutely terrible and ashamed for the way I handled things with these people. I'm not the type of person to hurt anyone or vandalize people's property. That just isn't who I am or who I want to be. How but the judge sell? didn't buy it. I see Wyatt still yet to be convicted, having spent 12 months in prison and lost absolutely everything simply because he couldn't hold his anger. Dang! He's an idiot. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's just dumb. Stupid. Ignorant. And uh, I just don't like him. Uh, I'm just gonna go out and say it. I just don't like him. Uh, I don't like how he acts. Huh? Like, and I'm not even just talking about... I'm not talking... I'm cancelled. But yeah, people that like this generally are broke boys. Like, they flexing all this money talking about, oh, I got the cash. I'm getting straight to the paper. Nine times out of ten, that is a broke boy. The rich people, you know, they have on Skechers. I I'm just gonna go out and say it. Like, you know, I ain't gonna lie. You know, some rich people, they do be flexing sometimes. They do got their drip on. But I'm just saying, like, the people with real money, they say... Them the ones that send khakis and cargo shorts and stuff, man. I don't know. I, I, I don't know, man. Like, so, I don't really got no money, so I, I guess I can't talk either. I'm a broke boy, but I ain't sitting here flexing in front of everybody talking about, oh, I get to the cash, you know what I'm saying? But, I, I don't know. He said 58 million followers. He has, like, 1 million, right? I've never heard the name Icy White a day in my life until I watched that video, like, a year ago. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh -uh. Like, he was actually making me mad. Don't you know who I am? <laughs> no, I don't. Am I supposed to care? You're not LeBron James. No! You know what I'm saying? You're not uh, Denzel Washington. You're not Adam Sandler. Like, I, I, I don't know. I'm just thinking of big names. He's not them. This, this, you're, you're a nobody. Like, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just a hater. So y'all got to let me know down below in the comments what y'all think. And y'all know what to do. If y'all do video too much to subscribe, you know what to 10,000 subscribers. Hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. Because it just makes sense to hit the like button if you like the video. No, it don't make sense. What? But this idiot that's doing all this. 1 million followers. Uh, 100 million views. TikTok, I should spit in your face.